Playmates on PMP main. What up YouTube and welcome back to Jesus Draws. I'm Jesus and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to create grime art. Now for those of you who don't know what grime art is, grime art is combining the elements of photography or video and digital art or animation and throwing them together to make something cool. Now here's some examples of other rappers that I've done in the past, but today we're gonna do the one and only Juicy J. And you know Juicy J always got a pair of shades on so I had to throw on mine. Even though I can't see shit, although I do say that I feel like I can take on a different identity. But if at any point in time you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Alright, so starting off, we got Clip Studio Paint open with a picture of Juicy J himself. And we're gonna call this layer the outline. Because that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna outline the parts that are gonna be grimed. Now you can grime anybody, really. You can grime your granny, you can grime your cat, your dog, dad, sister, chicken, you know, anything, really. And in this layer, we're just going to outline the parts that are gonna be grimed. And usually in these types of art pieces, it's usually just like the skin, the person themselves, not the clothes, I mean, you can, do whatever the fuck you want but this is just what I see and what grime art looks like to me when I see it we save that all right next create another layer we're gonna call this one drips Drips on the Chevys, Ryan Heavis. All right, so with the drips, you just kind of want to go in and create a like melty, you know, effect, you know, that makes it look like they're melting. <laughs> and that's just what it looks like whenever I see Grimar. It's just they're melting or they're, they draw like some skeletons or something. I don't know. You could do whatever you want, but here we're gonna do that slime shit, slimy shit. And then the next layer, we're gonna create a purple layer because I figured, you know, Juicy J looks like he likes the color purple because purple is a trippy color. So I decided to pull up Blue Dream and Lean, one of my personal favorites that he dropped. At least independently. I, I liked his music more when he was with 3-6 Mafia. Mafia! And we're gonna do purple from the car. And we're gonna use that. And put the layer below the outlines. Because you want the lines to be above or on top of the color. And you just want to go in and color in all the drips and what you inked in, outlined. Damn, thirsty as hell. All right. Then, we are going to turn down the transparency and create another layer. Now this layer, we're going to make a lighter version of the purple that we just used as the base color. This one's gonna be more for the lighter portions in the, in the picture. You can see how in his face he has, you know, bright purple and then his neck is just like more dark. You can see the different shades in this. So we're gonna go in with a lighter purple and color in those areas.
And if you mess around with the transparency of the layers, you can really see where your colors start to blend and where they separate. And it just adds dimension. And then we're gonna create another layer and this one's gonna be the middle, like the middle value purple. I don't really know how to explain that, but this is basically just gonna be another color and the layer just to throw in. You know, I think three is a cool amount of shades to throw in. You know, you could do two, you could do fucking 50 if you want, you know, it don't matter, do what you gotta do. And we're just gonna go in and mess around with the transparency and see where we can add this middle purple shade to, you know, give it more depth. Hell yeah. You know why? Cause we gotta stay fly ah, 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 till I die. Ah, ah, ah. Yo, I remember listening to that back in like I think it was elementary school. To be honest, I remember wearing the baggy clothes, and I just thought Juicy J had the coolest shirt in that video with the fucking skeletons. I was like, hell yeah, I wanted that, but I never got one. I did get a poster, and I put that up in my room, and I used that as a motivator. I said like hustlers or some shit. <laughs> I don't know, it was kind of funny just thinking back about that. Good old times. Um, let's see, where were we? Uh, so next we wanna create another layer. And this layer we're gonna put above our colors, but below the outlines. And we're gonna create the highlights for the slime or the drips and you pick a light source whether it be the left or the right and you put all the the highlights in that side like here I picked all the left side of the drips and below that we're gonna create another layer and this one's gonna be the shadows and we're gonna put that above the drips so it makes the drips pop out more and it looks cooler you know Cause doesn't everybody just want to be cool? But not really. And then um, we just add that to the bottom and you want to use a purple that's darker than the base color that you chose. Cause like I said, you want it to show that there's more depth in the thing, in the drawing. <laughs> Hell yeah. But wrapping it up here, folks, this is uh, pretty much how I go about my grimes when I do it. And I think these are pretty fun to draw. But let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Spread the word. Tell the homies. And until next time. Peace. Bitches getting mad cause I look like Katy Perry. Bitches getting mad cause I look like Katy Perry.